Europe AA kit, my actual stuff, gadgetry, gloves, helmet, hands, brain, let's ride. <laughs> Not or make friends at all. There we go. Now we're getting out of London. Oh, listen to your open throat. Oh. Sounds like a Gregorian chant, this puppy. Brisk morning air on the face. Doot doot doot. Yeah, Dover, that guy's a hippie. Hello. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. a nightmare to assault. Back in the days when 1200cc motorcycles were not a thing. Look at it. So old. It did say no cars, but I'm not a car. Hello? Cool. In the other car park, there's a special motorcycle. So oh, okay. So not this one. Sure. Um, it's a bit of a peculiar one. I'm not coming to visit the castle. I just happened to see it on the way past. Oh. I just wanted to ask somebody if I could fly a drone and get a shot from the air. Probably not here. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Let's get a ferry. The White Cliffs of Dover. Something dug into them halfway up. What is that? It's a bar. All sorts of little hidey holes and things. Wow! It's amazing. I think I'm in the wrong queue. Do, 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 do. Oh. No, okay. Fine then, fucker. I'll go behind you. So, <laughs> just, he just waved me through, he's like, yeah, you're probably okay. I was in the all passports line, and he's like, yeah, just go on. Fuck it, how much can it be? That's the price. Oh, again. Thank you. I get to go on first. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. So 
this slippery as little fuck, so I'm going to use my legs as outriggers. And... Zero passport checks and limited fuckery. I'm now in France. Look at this guy decadent as fuck. Awesome. Well. Little sniffy sniffer dogs sniffing for the Afghans. Not the Afghans anymore, the Syrians probably. A few Afghans, few Syrians. Right. First thing to remember is that you're on the wrong side of the road. Well, ain't that a kick in the dick? Right when I got to the most beautiful view and bit of road, the um, battery died. I don't think it's going to be the last. It's just... It's just about doing exactly what you did, which is find those squiggly bits on the map and then go fuck them up. Surfers off in the distance. Bonjour. Bonjour. Nope, no bonjour. Oh, there we go. What the hell is that? Oh, it's our apartment block's bladder. Uh, we all piss in it. And, uh, and then we sell it to the English. <laughs> They'll drink anything. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so now mode, enduro. <laughs> okay, I just realized that, that I don't happen to record it on the thing why I'm stopping here. So it's because of this. Madroen. Too cold. All right, fuck it. It's not happening. The rape dungeon place in there. <laughs> All right, let's go to a. M R I E N S. <laughs> you want me to go up there, do ya? All right, fuck it. Let's go back into enduro, though. Fucking do your unpaved road, BMW Navigator. Your unpaved road doesn't scare me. Oh, that does a bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, 
we go. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Sorry. I did the thing when I forgot what side of the road I was on. I'm glad I was on a little country road when I made that mistake. How am I ever going to get that battery at the right temperature is going to be an interesting challenge, isn't it? Let's build them all the same shape but different sizes. can delete all of this. Unless I crash, there is nothing interesting that's going to happen for the next hour. It does beg the question, why am I on it? <sighs> it does beg that question. That's how they wave out here. A little down to the ground point. <laughs> the GPS trying to pronounce these French things is hilarious. Like, turn left at Place de Flanders. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not how the French say it. Place de la Libération. Place de la Libération. So good, my petrol light comes on. I scroll out with the thumb wheel with the with the controller and zoom out and I find a petrol station on the route ahead and I don't need to worry and it's all the, the warning light comes up on my GPS and down there. It's just next level space age technology it's getting enough stuff out of the way that you can just enjoy the ride oh ain't that pretty l'hôtel de la dead tree arbor mort Mmm, classy bits of France I'm going through. So that was intensely confusing. I've never seen a petrol station like this before. Almost put gasol in because I thought gasol meant uh, gasoline like the Americans use it. And then I was like, maybe I should just Google before I go shaman shit shit my fancy mm, new motorbike. And then a good thing I did because it's diesel. Um, and then I was like, what the hell is this SP98 and SP95? Which one's going to kill my bike? And then I found out SP... You can only find this out if you stick a card in. It says Sans Plomb. And then I was like, oh, Sans Plomb. Sans Plomb. What the hell is Sans Plomb? And then realized that the... Um, <coughs> they all zipped up here. Um... The 
what do you call it, for, um, well, you know, the periodic table, the, the, the thing for, um, lead was PB, and, uh, then it made sense to me, sans plomb, without plomb, without lead, unleaded, which was very exciting. Uh, it did, it was a good 15 minute stop though, while I googled about which sans plomb to put in and then went, fuck it, 95 will do. Um, it's a round the world bike, it can handle some French sans plomb. Why do all these places seem dead? Do people take Sunday this seriously, or is... There's something I'm missing about this whole side of France. It's just... I love letting half parts of buildings fall down the French, don't they? Like, uh, stuff it. It was crap anyway. Let's just live next to it. This particular part. I wonder if they're heritage listed or just French. I don't know what, what is French to me about letting buildings fall apart. There it is particularly common around these parts. Building. I love Voldy Downy buildings. And a big tractor. See all Folly Downy buildings. What's going on? Bombs the tail. That one's not fully downy, like that one. That is also beautiful. Antardit. Pugiot. Aha! I, <laughs> I just figured it out. So, I read this thing about like putting your hand down like, uh, like a sort of declined Hitler salute or something was an international sim sim symbol for the um, you know how you going from a biker and then in the UK I was like they don't in the U I don't understand this I read this it was on the internet but on in the UK you just do a head tilt like that and I thought oh, that's a bit funny because I first heard about it in America and then I thought well it makes sense it's not in Europe and then I got a few today um, and I thought that's what it is. It's got to do with left or right hand drive. If I'm on the left hand side, I got to. I want to wave into the middle of the road. That's fine because I got this hand free, right? But if you're on riding on the left, then that's your throttle hand is the inside hand, and you're not going to want to throttle off every time you see uh, another motorcyclist. So they just do the head tilt instead. That's what I think. That's that's my idea. Very exciting. Quaddy land for all of your quadriplegic needs. <laughs> no, it's off road, it's quad bikes. And dirty. The 
hold up the house, more fully downy business. can't filter because the taxi, the pizza guy is not filtering, nobody is. Just one tall building in the city, huh? Fair enough. 